Hey, it's Allison Bales. I'm here to show you what's going on in my basement. We started our basement renovation this year in 2024, and I've, I've had one video out about the uh, the demolition and asbestos abatement that happened the week before last. This past week, we had a whole bunch more work done, so let me show you what's happened so far. All right, the biggest amount of work that we had done in the past week was the plumbing. You can see the drain line here going to the outside. That direction is to the outside, to the street, and it was going straight through the wall. So we had that replaced with PVC. The, the pipe going through the wall is now PVC. 10 feet out in the front yard is PVC with a new clean out there. And all this has been replaced. This was all cast iron in this area. It's now PVC and all the stuff up there new pvc instead of the old cast iron so it's going to work a lot better and uh, i will need to do some soundproofing on that because pvc is a lot noisier than cast iron here's another view of that plumbing and that light bulb you see right there by the way is in my last video the the light fixture that i found above the drywall ceiling it actually was still hooked up and, and i put a bulb in and it works so here's the new plumbing. We got a you know a bunch of concrete to replace in here. Uh, PV heating, air conditioning, and plumbing is coming tomorrow to finish this up, put some more gravel in, then we can get the concrete put on top of there and get that closed up. Here's the job that just started today. Engineered Solutions of Georgia came by and finished digging up the perimeter where the old perimeter drain was. Uh, that caused the problems. The old perimeter drain did not get installed very well. The, concrete on top of the old perimeter drain was cracking as you can see in the photo here and now all that's out we're, we've got the new drain in new concrete going in tomorrow and it will, will work much better down in the mechanical room on the other side of the sheetrock that you see down there to the behind that ladder is where the sump pump will be it will pump to the outside when water gets into it the walls are covered by these sheets of plastic and that will all be sealed up so any water that gets behind them will drain down the perimeter drain fortunately when we dug this up the other day the soil down here was dry as i expected because this side of the house especially it slopes away from the house very well and um, we don't have an exterior water problem there the place where we do have an exterior water problem is this side because this is above grade and um, water from outside. And this is the low spot of the yard too. So water has come in through this side of the, the basement sometimes. Notice also that fan in the window is another thing that I have going continuously in the basement. I have it turned off for the video right now, but I keep that going. And when the asbestos abatement people were here, they had two more powerful fans than, uh, than this one. And uh, that helps keep the basement under a little bit of negative pressure, exhausting dust and, and stuff to the outside. One last thing here before I go, doing this kind of work, remodeling work, building, construction, anything like this can be dangerous. So you need to be as careful as possible. We have a builder that we're working with. He's pulling the permit. We did the asbestos abatement to, to get the demolition kicked off and trying to keep the, the room under negative pressure, keep the, the, the whole project isolated to the basement, hiring good contractors, making sure they're doing things right. So be safe out there or that you can get hurt.